Today, it's the World Theatre Day. And I want to celebrate and I want to talk to you about theatre. Because theatre has, for me, been the most important thing I ever have done since I was a child. I have just finished off a play. I have been directing a play at the school uh, and it's this famous hairspray. And it was such a joy to be able to see the development in the youngsters. They were about 18, 18 and 19 year olds and they were doing this performance and all, all of them really, really did the best they ever could do. And for me, being a director and watching them every day, seeing how they were thinking of, oh, well, I'm just, do I'm just doing a little dance at the very, very back. It doesn't really matter what I do. And then suddenly they understand the importance importance of what theatre is all about, that we are a joint family that come together and, and really do our very, very, very best. And they did. And the performance was so fantastic. And uh, I am so pleased that I had the opportunity to, to be with them. And I'll just show you a few pictures because they really deserve a bit of, of publicity. This was in Norway, of course, and uh, if you haven't been uh, watching my vlogs before, uh, you shall know that I live in Norway, that I am a professional actress, but for a year, a year ago, I started vlogging here on YouTube, and of course then I prefer to talk English. But why, why on earth did I start becoming an actress? Was it because of fame? No, my dears, it was not. Was it because of money? No, my dears, it was not. But what was it? It was the pleasure of feeling alive the pleasure of standing on stage and have control of the situation and being free. Because when I was a child, I was a very shy girl. I was uh, very dependent on my mother, who was a very demanding and uh, great woman. Uh, so she did everything and I, I was just behind her and she was doing everything for me. And then I realised that I was extremely shy. Nobody could hardly hear what I said because my voice was so low that I was almost whispering. I remember my mother had a tea party. I was about 10 years old or so. And uh, uh, she had her friends over for a tea in the, in the uh, in early afternoon. And I was serving them and helping around and doing what my mother told me to do and um, and I was very clever at these things uh, and I, I, I enjoyed it um, and when I left the room having served the tea and the cakes and everything um, one of the one of my mother's uh, friends she said and uh, what is Gro Anne going to do has she any plans for the future and my mother said, yes, she wants to become an actress. And this woman, she just burst out laughing very loud and she said, that's the most silliest thing I've ever heard. I mean, Groanne, she's so, sh so shy. She can never become an actress. She has, she, 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 she hasn't any stamina to become an actress and I went into my room and I cried I cried so much and my mother and I talked about it uh, later on in the in the evening and she said don't worry do what you want to do and make it your goal 
because this is important for you and I will cherish every step on the way. And then, some years later, a year later I think, I got the main part in the school production. Uh, I was I was 12 at the most, maybe just 11 and a half or something, and um, I got to play Rosalind in As You Like It by William Shakespeare. And that was the greatest thing I had ever done. And when I stood on stage, on the premiere, I knew inside, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to England, I'm going to study theatre, and I'm becoming an actress. And that's what I'm going to do for the rest of my life. And I did. When I was, when I finished high school, I went to, to London to study theatre. And um, I came home, I worked with uh, several theatre companies, I got married, I had two children, and I was, at that point, I was working with a touring company. But after some years, I got very tired because I was doing all the leading parts. I was touring 120 days a year I had my husband, I had the life of the theatre, I had the life at home, but I could never be home with my children. Or 120 days I could not be home with my children in the evening. And that bothered me very much. So I quit the job and I started freelancing. But it was not enough money. So I had to start as a drama teacher as well. So that's how I have kept on in the theatre business all my life. There is a great um, person in the theatre called Augusto Boal, and he has said this about theatre. Theatre is a form of knowledge. It should and can also be a means of transforming society. Theatre can help us build our future, rather than just waiting for it. And then he has said these wonderful words. We must all do theatre to find out who we are and to discover who we can become. And this was just what I did. Through Rosalind, in As You Like It, I discovered who I was. And she's also a very strong feminist, and I have, for the rest of my life, become a very strong feminist. So, um, Rosalind is a favourite part. I have directed the play as a professional, but I have never played her as a professional. And now, of course, it is too late. On a day like this, I also think about Zelensky in the Ukraine. I remember a few years back now when he became the president of the Ukrainian people. People were saying, but here comes this, this actor, this comedian with no political experience and becomes a president. <laughs> I wonder what, what, uh, how long he can stay in office. <laughs> and now look at him. So brave. So fantastic. So strong and so patriotic. I really admire this man and I am so proud that he, in fact, started off as an actor. Emily Dickinson, she has written a poem and I thought maybe this is the right poem to read today because just on Monday this week it was the World Poetry Day. 
I was actually thinking that I should make a, a vlog about that, but I then remembered that I had made a vlog about poetry and uh, and uh, spring equinox the year before, so I thought, well, I can't do the same thing every time. time. But um, according to Selensky, being an actor, and um, and his bravery now in the Ukrainian war, I thought this poem, if I had understood it right, will be a tribute to Selensky. Because you never know how tall you are till you are called to rise. And this is what Emily Dickinson talks about in this poem. She says, we never know how high we are till we are called to rise. And then, if we are true to plan, our studies touch the skies. The heroism we recite will be a daily thing. Did not ourselves the cubit warp for fear? to be a king. I'm not quite sure the meaning of the two last sentences, but as Zelensky now is a president, I'm sure he's not afraid of being a king. I wish him luck, and I hope the whole of Europe, the whole world, will stand behind him in the fight for freedom. I think that will be all today. But remember, theatre has made my life and I'm so glad and I really want to celebrate this fantastic day. Bye for now.